Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Say, Sage and Ariel, uh, what do you think about the CCP shills who made videos performing ad hominem attacks against you guys? Now wait a minute. Isn't you labeling anyone who makes a video from China a CCP shill? Isn't that an attack? And quite hypocritical, I might add. Or people just making fluff pieces for local tourism boards. As a matter of fact, if you make a video for the Xinjiang Tourism Board, you're also labeled a genocide denier. That's not an attack. It's very simple. It happens a lot. Yeah. People attack us because they can't attack the message. Correct. If we're telling a truth... I would argue that you only get attacked because you lie. The easiest thing for them to do, because they cannot debunk that truth, if, especially when we have video evidence, so yeah. we show something like, for instance, look at these... Um, Whatever. You know, rural toilets yeah. that we showed you earlier. That's real. I filmed that myself. You filmed that yourself? How many years ago? You don't even know if it still exists. Right. Except for the new one, which of course our buddy filmed for us. But that's a real thing. So instead of saying, yes, there are or, terrible... Or America's worse. Yeah, well, yeah. but what I'm saying is instead of them saying, yes, there are terrible toilets in rural China or in, in a lot of China that need to be fixed... China is a huge country. Of course, there's some terrible toilets or washrooms somewhere in the country, especially ones that are privately owned, that are at gas stations and restaurants and bars. Those seem to be the only ones you want to focus on. Although China has some of the most advanced washrooms in the world, I'm sure. If you don't believe me, take a look at this one. Another public washroom at a uh, city park here in Dongguan. I won't attempt to go in there. If you watched my other videos, you know I had trouble already going into a washroom with a camera. It's not a good idea. Okay, I ended up having to use the washroom here, so I'm gonna, I'm just at the, uh, the front entrance right now. I'm not gonna take the camera into the uh, toilet area, but uh, you can see it's well maintained. This is in a park here in Dongguan. Looks like there's a hand dryer for each sink. I don't know if there's oh, there's some for children as well, some smaller ones. Nice music playing. Tells you the temperature, humidity, uh, air quality. For a couple of different chemicals. Let's see. Oh, look at this. It even tells you that there's somebody in the washroom. I think somebody's in that one. You can see which ones are uh, Western style. What's this here? Somebody. Somebody. Oh, that's a pregnant woman's washroom. And this is for men. This is for. Uh, women. Okay, and then this one is a family washroom, maybe. Accessible. A oh, wheelchair. Wheelchair accessible. Somebody show me a more advanced washroom. And this is in a second or third tier city in Dongguan. Okay, or maybe doing something like, look, mm -hmm. here's something nice about China. Instead of doing that, they'd rather try to attack us as villains. Yeah. You are villains. You make your living disparaging a country that you used to live in several years ago. A country which, by the way, until you left, greatly admired you. Try to cancel us by saying this person's a bad person because he's this, 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 mm -hmm. this, and they'll come up with whatever they want because they want to try and destroy our characters in order to try and stop our message rather than looking at the message itself which is truth yeah rather than confronting truth they would rather fabricate lies okay let's take a look at some of your so-called truth on even the simplest of subjects you know what the, the when when china, there's a reason we're voldemort in china yeah. The reason the Chinese government has to hire shills and stuff to talk about us because they can't. Yeah. They've banned our names on the yeah, Chinese Yeah, you can't internet. search you our can't name. <laughs> go look for us. They've removed every video, every instance, except for like one or two that have slipped through the cracks. Yeah, because it doesn't have our actual name and the titles and stuff, yeah. They can't actually acknowledge our presence because what that does is, again, they don't want to strike sand that. Okay. That seems simple enough to verify. 
what's more Chinese internet than WeChat? Why don't I just do a quick search for Serpent ZA or Winston Sturzel on WeChat? Oh, turns out he is there. Let me just zoom in a little bit here so that you could actually see that it is Serpent ZA. And we'll scroll down and see, uh, you know, is it just one or two times or is there several? Turns out WeChat has many, many links if you search the term Serpent ZA. And there's yet more and some different ones if you search Winston Sturzel. I read through some of these and surprisingly many of them are very positive and admire Winston. There are also many that acknowledge that when he went to the U.S., he became a turncoat. He acts like, and maybe his viewers believe, that he's doing some harm to the Chinese government and having some effect. The only effect has been harm to himself and his reputation here in China. The list of links goes on and on. Seems almost endless. But I think I've made my point. But I'd like to go back and just click on a few of these and just show you a couple of things that I found interesting. So I'm going to click on one here that appears to be linked to YouTube, but first I'm going to turn off my VPN. So I'm not exactly sure how or why this works, but this WeChat link is going to link to a YouTube video made in Taiwan. Well, so what the hell is this? It's a, it's a traditional white tiki I don't know what it is. What's the significance of all this? It's obviously some kind of native traditional thing, because anything that looks like that's always got something to do with some cultural native traditional thing. Right. So this video wouldn't be complete without clicking on a couple of the links that lead to Winston's so-called shilling. So you're in Shenzhen and you don't know what to do? Come with me and I'll show you. This next clip is taken from a fluff piece video he made for CRI, China Radio International. I came here with no expectations and I was literally blown away by how interesting the place was. How about a little free advertising for their documentary from Tencent? Tough roads. Breathtaking scenery. Fascinating locals. Weird food. China like you've never seen it before. This is Conquering Southern China. The fact that you don't tell the truth is not such a big deal. The fact that you try to use your untruths to smear everything about China, including its people, makes you that villain that you mentioned earlier. 